the money. David is going to be a woman. He's going to shake. Richard is not letting me speak, which means that I have to dress up as a woman. Yeah. Ready? Go. Go. Stop. Around him, around him. No, no, no. <laughs> around him. Okay, no. Jump. Jump. Go. It. And then go. go around me again. I'll stand still. And there's a whole... No, no, running, running, <laughs> running. running. <laughs> okay, now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm going under the car. Okay. Yeah. You're going under? Oh, my gosh. He's going under He's the going car under. now. Are you kidding me right now? He does feet. We're set. Oh, my God. I can barely see him. <sighs> Where'd he go? I'm trying to listen. I can't hear anything. Two thousand feet, though. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret's a fellow at Christ's College. She dedicated her life to HPV research and has even been awarded an OBE for it. I suppose the first thing I want to ask is, how do you get the virus and, um, and, and what it, what it what is? is it? What is it? Well, HPV is a little virus that lives in the skin. You've got to remember that this, the skin just doesn't cover your outside. There's a skin-like covering in your mouth, your throat, uh, your vagina, uh, the anus, that's the back passage. So this virus lives in all those places. And um, it's a virus that doesn't get into the bloodstream. It only lives in the skin. So you get it basically from sex. So if you have vaginal sex, you get it in the cervix and the vagina. If you have anal sex or at the outside of the anus, you get it in the anus. And if you have oral sex, you get it in the mouth. Peter Foley from Edinburgh has been tracing the history of his birth father, whom he never knew, a medical student from Ghana. Having discovered new family members in London and details of his father's career in Ghana, he can't wait to share the news with his family and his oldest friend, Doogie. We sat at the table and I told them the story. And at the finish, I said, and by the way, my, my father's called Dr. Albert Kubina Kutadankwa. Took me a minute and I went, that's my father. The two friends had always been close, like brothers, but this discovery was almost too much to take in. I bought this with Michael Jackson and my cousin and we were on a trip in Pasadena. And this is a sad story, my cousin wanted this but I want to get it for a gift because her birthday was the next day. And so I bought it when she wasn't looking. Can you believe this? That night after Michael dropped us off, she went home, she was watching the ball game. She was eating this huge, you know, like kosher hot dog and she choked to death on the hot dog. And when the coroner came, he said it was too much for her to swallow and I never got to give it to her. <laughs> Then one day we set off and we didn't come home. We assembled at Earlsfield Station as usual, thinking that our teachers would soon take us back to school. The stairs to the platform at Earlsfield Station are still seared into my memory after all these years. We marched up here in pairs, and I can remember very clearly the backs of my brother Alan's little fat legs as he clambered in front of me. My father had joined the army at about the same time as we kids were packed off to the country. So all of a sudden, my mother was completely alone. No one to look after and no idea when any of us would be coming back. As for me, what had started as a big adventure with my school pals suddenly became a rather scary leap into the unknown. Looks pretty close and he's still not up though. I think I hear something. Wait. Oh, oh, oh my God. Are you okay? We are clear. He's in the car. He's in, he's in, he's in. Dude, you're crazy. 